Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy for Assembly God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing well. I'm going to invite some people in. Uh, it's a beautiful day, and uh, I'm going to open my verse up today. So I hope you're doing well. Good morning, Miss Foe. I'm going to open up my verse this morning. And uh, good morning, Allison. I hope you're doing well. Good morning, Gabe. So, uh, man, welcome to snow. Isn't this crazy? Didn't expect this this morning. So, Jeremiah 17.7 is the verse this morning. And... Uh, going to read it from the New Living Translation. And uh, so <laughs> it says, But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. So when you read uh, this passage, But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. So blessed. So yesterday in church, I was talking about, where's your hope at? And where's your trust? Let's talk about trust. You know, so many times, so often, um, there's opportunities in life to have your hope or your trust waver because of circumstances or even uncertainty in life, isn't there? Where we're not sure how things will play out or how things will happen, but we need to know that we can keep our trust and our hope in the Lord in every aspect of what's happening. And, and it says, bless are those who trust in the Lord and have made or have developed or have placed the Lord, made their Lord their hope and confidence. Good morning, Sherry. Really, our faith, our hope, and confidence in the Lord. There are days in life where situations happen, uns uncertainty happens, questions happen, and the Lord can take those questions, uncertainties, questions of feeling of doubt, and we, the Lord can handle those. Um, we just have to continually put our hope in there, in Him. So the question I asked at the beginning, and the question I asked the church yesterday, where's your hope? And in my sermon yesterday, I talked about where's do we put in, 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 in our wallet, in our jobs, in, even in our car, or, uh, and I just listed several different things. Too many times we put our hope or our trust in the things of this world, and in the Bible it says the things of this world will soon pass away. But we need to trust in the Lord, which will never the Lord will never pass away. So, when you think about that today, when you think about trusting in the Lord, He'll never leave us nor forsake us. It's usually us that leave Him. So, when are those times that we have a temptation to leave Him or to distrust him. Let's just talk about that for a moment. This is going to get a little deep. We distrust him or we feel like we have a temptation to do that is during those times of uncertainty or depression or anxiety or because those are are, are based of uncertainty. I love that word uncertainty because that means we are feeling as though we're alone that the Lord has left us alone. 
And uh, so we have this. Thanks for sharing that, Allison. And uh, we need to trust in the Lord. But sometimes we allow, we allow our feelings to get a hold and trump our trust in the Lord. And we really need to fight against that because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He comes to oppress our focus. And we need to not allow him to do that. And so I just want to encourage you to fight against that. Ephesians 6 talks about putting on the full armor of God. And uh, we need to really put on the full armor of God because he really wants to distract us in these times of uncertainty and these times of depression or whatever because God is always with us. Amen? And so I want to encourage him that. So, get out your notebook and write this out. Jeremiah 17, 7 is the verse today. But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord, good morning, Tamika, their hope and confidence. Jeremiah 17, 7. Let me read that to you again. But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. Jeremiah 17, 7. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. And uh, write that out. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and write those out. Um, as Allison already put there, is be very safe when you drive because the roads, it actually, uh, when I woke up, it was sleeting. <laughs> so it's probably a little bit of ice underneath it here at least I don't know where you guys are at how it happened but um, so if you have any prayer requests go ahead and write those we'll pray but uh, okay we'll pray for your grandma Tamika all right let's pray Lord I pray for Tamika's grandma having some heart issues Lord God you are the God that heals and Lord God we just ask that you just touch Tamika's grandma Lord, we just pray for this world that we live in right now of uncertainty. And Lord God, we just ask that, Lord, that you just uh, move, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, as Sherry's just written, uh, for peace, Lord God, in our world, Lord Jesus. Peace from the riots and the, and the un, uh, peace all the way through. Peace and unity. And Lord, I ask that for that. I pray for Aunt Chris, that Lord God, that you heal her body and touch her, Lord Jesus. And Lord God, we thank you for the healing that's going to take place. Lord, we pray for uh, our world, Lord God, that you will heal it from uh, the sicknesses that, Lord God, and this virus, I pray that you just heal it, Lord God. I pray for our government that, Lord God, that you continue to uh, give wisdom, Lord God. We need wisdom for our government, Lord. I also pray, Lord God, for um, uh, that we can uh, share the gospel with somebody today and that, Lord, we can be a blessing to somebody today. I also pray for the unspoken that, Lord God, may be re represented here, Lord God, uh, whether it's finances or health, Lord God, I pray that you reach down and touch each one, Lord. Lord, I thank you so much, Lord God. I pray that you bless those that are watching now and that may watch later, Lord. I pray that, Lord, that you give us a great day and on this Monday. Lord, may it be a blessed day, Lord, in your name. Amen. Hey, have an awesome day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow at 630. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you later.